This is StormTrack 12. A fairly stormy Sunday across the Twin Tiers. Rain and wind lashed the area earlier on this morning, but now things have certainly quieted down as we've gotten further into the night tonight. There's those temperature 53 degrees looking down towards downtown Binghamton. Still a stiff west wind at about 12 miles an hour, so the wind hasn't quite left us just yet. But again, that storm system is now well off to the north and east. Temperatures remaining in the 50s. These really have not budged all that much throughout the day. We did warm up in the afternoon with some brief clearing into the 60s, but ever since sunset, we've dropped back down into the 50s and cloud cover has kept us steady there pretty much ever since. And again, those wind speeds, they are still breezy at times in some locations, especially at higher elevations like the airport. But for the most part, these winds have definitely calmed down from where we were earlier on. Wind gusts got up to 30 to 40 miles an hour at times as we went through the mid and late morning hours as the storm passed through. But again, check it out. Pretty quiet weather all the way across across almost the entire eastern half of the country, but there's what's left of that storm system well off to the north and east, mainly into Maine at this hour. And again, we had some stray showers on the back end that passed their way through in the middle and late parts of the afternoon, but ever since the rainfall has been over with and we just have that lingering low cloud cover and it is going to stick with us for a little bit longer here tonight. And from that rainfall, here are some of the totals across the area. Again, we pretty much got close to an inch deposit in Owego over towards Groton and then also Harper's field a little bit lower than that down near a half an inch, but you average all that out right around three quarters of an inch of rainfall for many locations here from the storm today. So less wind tonight. The clouds are going to stick around as we get further into your Monday, but then we start to gradually clear it out for a mostly sunny end to the day. Temperatures will be staying well above average for the next few days. Then the next storm system. Yes, yeah, spooky Halloween weather. It looks like it's going to arrive on the last day of October. There's the cloud cover. It's going to be sticking with us through the rest of the night and into the morning tomorrow. It's going to take some time, but we do start to clear it out by the lunch hour and look at all that sunshine then as we head towards four and five o'clock tomorrow evening. But then we start to change the wind direction and bring clouds back into the picture from the east and southeast for Tuesday morning, and it's looking like it's going to be a mostly cloudy second day of the work week. No rainfall to worry about but we'll have to be dealing with those clouds. Temperatures tonight again we will drop down a little bit further, but we're going to be back only into the upper 40s, maybe even lower 50s for tomorrow morning. We make a run back into the 60s, especially with that sunshine near the end of the day and another relatively warm night compared to average. Anyway, upper 40s, to lower 50s again going into your Tuesday morning and again we'll be back into the lower 60s, upper 50s for our high temperatures on Tuesday. So 47 tonight. Again, the winds will calm down even more so through the rest of the night, but the clouds will not be going anywhere until we get later in the day tomorrow. There's that gradual change from mostly cloudy to mostly sunny by the middle of the afternoon and very quiet for the first three days of the work week. But yes, Halloween and into Friday late this week, we'll be dealing with another storm system and some rainfall. I'm just excited to get some sun after all this clouds we've been having all weekend. I know it's been tough oh. to get rid of them, so we will for a brief time at least tomorrow. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, David. Next in sports, a packed day of NFL football with Giants.